Hello everyone, welcome back to another monthly sales recap video. This is for the month of August. Now, before we begin real quick, I guess I want to say that, you know, I think a lot of you appreciate our transparency here with, uh, you know, not only showing how we do everything on BrickLink, but also the exact numbers that we get um, month to month. Um, but personally, this would be one of the months I would not want to show. It's a little embarrassing. It's very slow, a lot slowed down this month. And I know I got a lot of questions in the past three, four weeks. Hey, how, you know, my store is not getting a ton of sales. How can I increase those sales? And the truth of the matter is, I think personally, at least for us, especially August was just a down month. Um, so these numbers are a little lower than normal, but they're not, well, no, they're pretty bad, I guess, to be compared to everything else. You'll see that in just a moment. But we'll start over here just like normal with our fans. Um, so at the beginning of the month, we started with 134 fans. That was at what we ended at last month in July. Um, and then this month, we gained 24 fans. We now have a total of 158, which is, uh, you know, pretty good. I'm not going to complain there. You know what? Uh, 24 more people that clicked on the, the thing and wanted to follow our store, which is pretty good. Now, if we jump over to the uh, the parts and the pieces on the left side here, you can see the parts at the beginning of the month. We started with 142,368. Um, and then the lots at the beginning of the month were just over almost 20, a little under 2,700 lots. Um, parts at the end of the month, we ended with 137,394. And then the lots at the end of the month was 2,500-ish, or 20, I guess 2,562. Um, so, you know, we sold a decent amount of lots, or emptied a decent amount of lots, thanks to a couple buyers. Um, Chris, kind of talking to you a little bit, um, who helped clear out probably 20-something lots and a lot of other people who, you know, clear things out over time. Now, this means that we sold 4,971 parts, which, looking at the past, you know, what, seven months before this, pretty low. You know, the lowest since January. And January obviously was our first month. We didn't even have, we had 10,000 parts ish at the very beginning of January. So small numbers this month in terms of parts sold. Now, technically, that means when you do all the math, we added negative three parts. Now, part of this was because I dropped a drawer. I lost at least one piece in there for sure that I remember taking out of the inventory. And then in addition to that, Paul, I think, borrowed or stole a piece essentially um, for a build he was doing. Um, so that's how we ended with that negative three number there. Um, but essentially, you can count that as zero. We didn't add a single part to the store this month, unfortunately, which is kind of disappointing. But obviously, we were doing a lot of the construction and, uh, you know, renovation and kind of not remodeling, but like rearranging of the garage and stuff for our Bricklink store. So um, that's really the reason that we didn't add any that month. But coming uh, this month in uh, September, there will be a lot added, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping for upwards of around 50,000 pieces would be fantastic. Um, maybe even more. If we can get to like, I don't know, maybe like uh, 200,000 parts at the maybe mid-October, that would be absolutely fantastic. That'd be a good goal, I think, to hit. Um, so now we'll get into the numbers that you guys really want to see. Um, first of all, we were open 26 days this month. So we were closed a few days um, during the renovations. We weren't able to pick orders, so we closed off the store. Um, just while we were covering everything up with plastic so it wouldn't get dirty. So obviously not quite um, as as many days as we would have wanted to. We wouldn't want the full uh, amount of days, obviously, in the month. But if we jump over to how many orders we had this month, we only got, ready, 28 orders, unfortunately. So not great. Um, I guess it could be worse. It could be just like January. But if you look at that number as well, just like the parts sold, the lowest ever, except for January. I don't necessarily count January because we kind of opened and, you know, in the last week or so of that month, we added like 50,000 parts or something. So I wouldn't really count uh, January as a true month. Um, but this is the second worst month, including January in that, unfortunately, for the number of orders. Now, if we want to jump over to the uh, gross sales, which again, not great. Um, or if we look real quick over the orders per day, you can see that's just over one order per day um, in terms of days that we were open. Again, really bad. That's the lowest except for January at the very beginning of our BrickLink store. Um, and then if we jump over to the gross sales, you can see $977.08 is what we made this month in gross sales. So we didn't even hit a thousand, which is quite disappointing to be honest. Um, yeah, very disappointing actually. But at the same time, like I said, we weren't adding parts. We didn't put anything on sale. We didn't do anything this month to try to get sales or promote sales or anything. It was very much just let the store do its thing in the moment. Um, everything set to the last six month sales average, you know, whatever that kind of stuff. So um, we will be having a sale this upcoming weekend, though, by the way, it'll be a uh, Labor Day sale. So we'll have a sale this weekend and then hopefully that'll start off September with a good start. And then we'll see how we continue through September. Um, average order amount was $34.90, which isn't terrible. Um, 
actually, to be totally honest, it's pretty good. Um, you can see the last three, four months or so, or three months now, we're averaging over $30 per order, um, which is really good, actually. Very, very good. Obviously, June and July were fantastic months for both number of orders and the average, um, as well as obviously the gross sales. Um, and then, uh, you know, the average order is staying up, which is which is positive, which is a good a good sign. So, you know, 28 orders, we still made almost $1,000, which isn't bad, as opposed to, you know, 28 orders being, I don't know, 280 maybe $300, because it could have been a $10 order average. Fortunately, it was much higher than that at $34.90. Um, so that's pretty much it for this. You can see we are approaching the end of the year. We got four more months. So hopefully, I'm you know, I'm really hoping September, um, we can add another 45 to 50,000 pieces is my goal. Um, and we can be up to, I want to be, what are we at now? 137. Uh, so hopefully 170. Um, we'll say 170 just because, you know, pieces get sold and stuff. But hopefully September, we'll, we'll have 170,000 pieces by the end. October, I want to have 200,000 parts, which would be the goal there. Um, like I said, this coming up weekend, uh, Labor Day, we're going to have a three-day sale, uh, maybe four-day sale, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, actually. Um, so four-day sale, we'll have this next weekend. We'll probably get a decent amount of orders there. So if you're looking for parts, go ahead and check out our BrickLink store. The link is in the description below, and you can wait for that sale if you would like. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everyone who clicks on these and watches these videos, and if you're still here all the way at the end, thank you so much. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you found anything useful or, or questionable or you're wondering how to do anything, go ahead and put a question or a comment in the comment section below. Uh, once again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.